Hi guys, it's Paul. So what I thought I would do is in the midst of this April 2020 lockdown, um, if for those of you who are watching this later on down the line, I'm choosing to take the time to have a play and practice with some locks that I've got to hand um, and, and practice with them to keep my hand in it because obviously I'm not doing the work I was and to keep your fingers and hands nimble and your brain active and to help pass time and boredom. I'm trying to use that time proactively so if you choose to watch this video happy days if it doesn't suit you and you find it boring or you know you're not interested in it again no problems um, I purely just killing two birds with one stone and putting the videos out there okay um, now we've got a mixed bag of stuff here we've got some four levers and five levers and they range from some of them are exceptionally easy to some that are a little bit more tougher now it's not the ones that you expect to be the hardest are not necessarily the hardest and I'll explain that as I go along. Um, now there's varying methods that people use um, okay, and everyone has typically got their own method or their own tools that they wish to use. For the purpose of this video I don't own any of the turn one picks for any of these locks. Okay, I never have, um, I've never purchased any of them, um, the only time I came around to bother buying anything to open these was when I got the multi pick and I got the padlock tips um, and then that's what made me start looking into these um, I had played around with making keys cut down keys and doing it and that's another method some other people use and I had success with that um, but obviously it was just nice to have a bit of a different tool um, so there's going to be people there, as I say, that they can't see the value in buying tools and they use bits of wire and good for you. Um, and other people that will use turn one picks or cut down keys, which is what I used to do. So, again, whatever your chosen method, the, the aim of the game is to get them open. Um, and an open is an open, no matter what you've used. Okay, so my weapon of choice, as I said, is the multi pick. Okay. Now I've got an array of picks in there, so we need that one and that one. Okay, I'm just using the standard uh, wire that I'd use for multi locks, so I'm not I'm not changing anything up. I, I do have an additional wire, which I may have to change to. Um, I I don't know yet. Um, I have. I'm pretty sure I've picked all of these. I can't say for hundred percent sure if I've pick this one and I can't say if I'm just sure if I've picked this one I know I've picked other ones the same as these but off the top of my head I can't remember okay I know because these two don't belong to me um, this one doesn't belong to me but I have picked this previously and I know that the wall saw I own that um, I did have keys for it god knows where they've gone they're probably in one of my bags somewhere but that's one of mine this Wix's is one of mine um, and these I bought when I had my shop. I, had a, I bought a load of these in because they were quite common for some of the people to come in and purchase these for gates and stuff. So, okay. So to start off with, uh, we'll start at the low end and we'll go for the FB one. So it's locked. Now these, as I say, are not necessarily going to be super hard. Some of them will go really quickly. Uh, you know, and need some tape because I want to tape up the uh, the dust cover or whatever you want to class it as okay so I'm going to try and bring this move these over slightly I'll try and bring this camera so that everything can be sort of seen within view so this one works on a pipe key so I'm going to use my pipe tipped Okay, so I'm going to go in, turn, so just to show that it's definitely locked. I'm going to try and keep my hands out of the way, but there may be times when my hands cross over and sort of block the view. And then all we're going to do is just going to go in there and work my way through slowly. Nice little kick there. One. That's gone away there. 
So as I said, like some of these are super easy. I mean, they're not they're not built with security in mind. These ones, they're they're these are just built more for the fire brigade and everything else like that. You know, they're they're not necessarily put on items of high security. They're, you know, that are going to be stolen. They're like gates, uh, grills, and stuff like that. So security isn't of paramount importance on them. What we got next? Uh, let's do the old squire. Okay, so that's locked. So it's an old squire, six sixty, four levers, old English style. Um, you don't really see them very often anymore. So I don't know if you wanted to see that. Okay. Yes, we have the keys on there because this is purely one that's used on training classes. So, but you know, these have been, as I said, picked before. So it doesn't matter whether the keys have been seen or not. So. So again, we need to bring this up. So this is just basically, you you know, it is basically just one of them. Very, very similar. They could potentially be made in the same place. I don't know. Um, You numpty fool, using the wrong tip. I'm not paying attention. So, I'm going to go in with that. So, I'm going to try it again and keep my hands out of view. Well, not out of view, but out of the way, hopefully. So you can kind of see if I'm getting bits of give, and I just did then. One, two, three, four, five. The levers feel a little bit different in this one, so I don't think it is going to be the same as the, the fire brigade one. It's just the designs based on the same. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Just had a little bit of give then. It might have anti-picks in this because it's just it's partially rotated. There we go. Okay, so that's that one done. I think these are probably the next easiest option. So that's locked. Get them out of the way. Okay, so that's locked solid. Let's lift that up out of the way. So this one's on a pipe. So I need to swap the tip. Now, I know these don't have anti picks in them, or if they do, you literally skip through them and don't really feel them. Um, I've never really bothered to take any of these padlocks apart, so you know I've not felt the need to because I find them fairly easy to to open these. So th there's not really anything for me to sort of investigate that causes me to be inquisitive about them. So this is now five lever, the five lever padlock. So. We've got one extra lever in this, but again we, we just maintain and do the same thing that we've done on the previous ones. We don't treat it any different. A little bit of movement on that lever. So you do get some good feedback with these and another little bit of movement with these locks. Um, you do kind of feel yourself working around. I'm sure that went and didn't slip. Yeah, that one did. Yeah. Okay. Um, now I've got the pipe. Let's do a chub. Now, these do, from feedback, have anti picks in them. And 
I wouldn't say that they're super easy. They're not a padlock that I'd say for beginners to start with. But the anti-picks are pretty trivial and can be picked out of. Um, okay. So I'm going to try and again keep out of the way. One's got resistance. A bit movement. Two, three... Four, five, back to one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, a little bit of give, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've gone into an anti-pick and one's binding. So I'm going to ease off, lift that up. Two, three, four, five, five binding. Okay, so I've, I think what it is, is I've over-lifted them. Now the wire is a little bit tight in this, so the wire is probably a rubbing just on the top of the keyway. So it's giving me a bit of resistance, so even when I'm rotating, it's taking out some of the feedback. So I think what I'm dealing with is position 1 and 5 are already in gate or low lift. So I go 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, one, two, three, four, yeah, so one and five, All right, so I've just gone into anti pick again, so two, three, four. I've over, I think I over lifted five at that point. So what I'm going to do is just swap to a thinner gauge wire. Um, so that'll be the same height and upstand. I think it's this one. No. That's a right hand wire. So as you can see there, there's the same same wire. Okay. Just this one is a little bit thinner, which puts a little bit more flex on the wire, which I'm not a fan of. I like the wire to be even though it's probably only less than probably half a mil in difference, the feedback through the wire is altered. And as you can see there's no no resistance on that now. So based on what I think I've found, so I'm going to leave one because there's a slight tap on one. Lift two, lift three, lift four, a little bit of give, leave five. A little lift on one, there's a little bit, right it's tapping still, two, a little bit of give on two, two, and it's gone. Okay, so the difference on just changing the wire on that particular lot made all of that difference. Okay. Now we're going to go for the battleship. So that was the cruiser that I just did. This is the battleship. So that's locked. Okay. So now we're going to do this one. Need to swap the tip. back to my original wire, see how that feels. Okay. Don't think that's seating. That's it. I didn't think it was going to seat properly then. So we're in. And we're just going to work our way Little 
little tiny bits of gear. So this is what these these chubs they they have anti picks, but the feedback on these um, battleships is really nice. That's gone right there. because you can actually feel every everything that you do. You can feel um, and when they go into anti pick, you can actually just pick right through them. Um, whether it's worn or something, this has been picked previously so many times that the anti picks have worn. I don't know, um, but as said. It's okay, so that's that one. So now onto the wall saw. Now these are an absolute pain, and I know from previous experience with these because I there's two versions of this one. They did one that was like a like a highly polished and black as well, so it's like a um. It's almost like an enamel black, so like a matte finished black, and then a high polished front to them. Um, they're both, they're not BS rated, but they're police approved and all of that. And these definitely have anti picks, and the anti picks are in these are a nightmare. When you go into anti pick, you, what you have to do is you can't just ease off and the levers will drop back down. You have to then um, back turn. As if you was locking it back up, so you'll probably see me going back round and doing that to because they're not sprung loaded. Once you're pulling it back, it just stays where it is. So to reset the lock, you have to actually then rotate the the tool as if you was locking it back up, and then you'll hear the levers drop. So these are absolute nightmare, especially if you're trying to do it on a job and they're on a gate and you're at an awkward angle. I mean, on the bench, it, it's not so severe. Um, so the tool's fully in. So one, two, three, four's binding, five. A little bit of rotation then, so I've probably gone into anti pick. Two, three, four, five. A little bit of rotation then, so maybe we're not going to take pick two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So four is binding five. So four is giving me the grief. So one, two, three. Might even be three. One, two, three. Yeah. So three binding I'm going to back off and I'm rocking it and it doesn't want to go okay so what I'll do now is you'll hear okay nothing's dropped but then if I turn this tool you just heard that click and that's the levers dropping so lever free by the looks of it is a high lift and gone into anti pick. Can't get the wiring comfortably. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I'm going to lift three. So I've taken three up quite high. I'm going to go back to one. One. Two, three, still where it is. Four, resistance on five. And I think it's just slipped into anti pick there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So five jams solid. So three and five need to be lifted higher. Again, you'll hear them drop. So now I need to ensure that with lever three and five, I treat them as high lift, and as soon as they're binding and I can, that I lift them to their ideal position. Okay, so let's go in. Right, 
So one, two, I'm going to take three higher, one, two, three higher, leave four, don't touch four, go straight to five, lift five a little bit higher, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, seem five so some of them levers drop then but it seems as though five doesn't want to play ball properly so maybe I need to just start at lever number five first so I can feel one I'm not touching it two I'm not going to lift it three I'm not going to lift I'm not going to lift four I'm going to go straight to five as soon as I touch five we had a little bit of give so lifted five, so it's five that's putting me into anti pick. Four, three, and as soon as I touch three, that's put it into anti pick. Did I manage to make that out? No. Okay. So I can't start with five because as soon as I touch five, that's putting me into anti-pick so we need to do five first uh, three first one two three skip four now I need to be mindful when I lift this so I'm going to have to back off my tension ever so slightly lift five through the first anti well through the anti-pick and then into its gate so I'm taking the pressure off so it allows me to slip it past I think I just dropped three one Two, three, one, two, three, four, we're on five. Okay, so hopefully they've both stayed up. Four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, Three, four. I think five was up too high. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So three and five were high. Um, I need to get myself under a lever number one. And that should allow me to rotate. So as you can see, they're quite tricky. So if you're looking for a tricky padlock, if you're proficient with the others and you want a bit of a challenge, get yourself a wall saw and I'll bring it up closer. You might not be able to make out the info on the camera. Okay, so it's a wall saw ace, uh, five lever, um, no other information on that. Okay, hopefully that's sort of some interest to you guys and um if i can come up with anything else i'll do that soon cheers bye